The hot damn. That was a race. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net. Brad Keselowski wins solid. Like he said, wasn't a Talladega fluke, so to speak. It wasn't a gas mileage race like that when at Kansas. No siree. This was heads up all the way. Great finish. Brad Keselowski, two broken feet. I'm not sure what he had wrong with his feet, but just four or five days ago, he hit the wall at 100 miles an hour at Road Atlanta, head first. Whoa, went to the hospital. Doctors taking care of him. Could have been a lot, lot worse. He managed to get out of that thing okay. He was testing for next week's race at Watkins Glen. But how are you going to shift? How are you going to break? How are you going to do anything at a place like Pocono? Well, he pulled it off. I got to admit that I had some questions about the safety aspects of all this. I mean, if you can't walk, and he was having a hard time walking, I don't know if I want you in a race car at 200 miles an hour in traffic. But he did it. He pulled it off. And he didn't just win. He didn't just go the distance. He beat Kyle Busch. He beat Carl Edwards. He beat Jimmy Johnson. He beat Jeff Gordon. He beat Kurt Busch, his own teammate. He beat them all. Heads up. Good race. Good finish. Took forever, though. We started off with the truck race. Had to finish that thing up from Saturday because of the rain. It's been raining up here. And then we had an ARCA race where they were flying through the air all over the place, crashing. Finally got that out of the way. And then we started the NASCAR race. And then... After 300 miles, it started raining, and it rained, and it rained, and almost two hours later, didn't know if it was going to get restarted, didn't know if the track could dry out, there was another storm coming. Everybody was playing the gas mileage game, playing the time game, playing the rain game, playing all sorts of games. They got it restarted, they got it going again, and Brad Keselowski comes up the winner by about three lengths over Kyle Busch, and Kyle Busch was sideways. He was doing everything he could to get around him. It was really strange toward the end, though. The last restart, Kyle Busch was in the lead. He was on the inside, preferred line. Brad was on the outside. Bad feet. Still had a lot of horsepower. But Jimmy Johnson was running third right behind Kyle. Kyle's notorious for being the best restarter in the business. But Jimmy managed to mess with Kyle's restart. Brad Keselowski got out front. Clean air. He was gone. Everything Kyle did, he had a great car, one of the best cars in the field. In fact, his teammate, Denny Hamlin, was the class of the field. Most of the race until a bad pit stop. Lug nuts fell off on a pit stop because of the moisture in the air. I tell you, rain up here in the Pocono Mountains, it can play havoc on every aspect of your game. Brad Keselowski used clean air, pulled away from Kyle, won the race. And then right behind them, Jimmy Johnson and Kurt Busch. They've got a little bit of history. You know that as well as I do. Sometimes I think Jimmy forgets about that. Kurt certainly didn't. Kurt was running third, Jimmy was running fourth, Jimmy wanted the spot. Kurt ended up keeping the spot, but I tell you, it was a wham dinger of a finish between those two. Door to door, door into door, door into door, swerving, and then after the race, yelling and screaming on pit road. Jimmy was hot. Jimmy's notorious for never losing his cool, for never getting too angry, and he was angry. He was livid. He said, a lot of guys have been taking advantage of me, and Kurt's just one of them. I think there might be some paybacks coming along the way somewhere for Jimmy. But I, from what I saw, and I need to see the replays, looked to me like Jimmy slid into Kurt to begin with. And Kurt just said, hey, I'm not taking any more off Jimmy. Ran back into him. Good, clean, hard racing. Nothing bad, nothing serious. But Jimmy didn't like it. Kurt didn't like it. Ah, I tell you, Kurt even used the word feud. A feud between Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson? Well, they got a history. All's well that ends well, I guess, until we get to Watkins Glen and see what those guys do up there. You know, I think Jimmy Johnson's going to be running on Saturday to get a little edge. Wonder how that's going to play out in Sunday's race at Watkins Glen. But today, it's all Brad Keselowski. Brilliant performance, magnanimous in victory, and a heck of a finish. Beating everybody heads up. Good job, Brad. Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net, Pocono Raceway, Sunday night.